Hey guys, welcome back to my lens in the world map and the next episode of my first solo trip. And this time I'm going to show you a beautiful port city Stromstad. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and I started early morning for the Stromstad city. This day was an adventurous as well as super tiring day for me because I was in three cities, two countries in one day. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Morning I started from Gothenburg. I traveled to Stromstad and in the night I was in Oslo. The picturesque coastal town of Stromstad is only 2 hours drive from Gothenburg or 1 and 1/2 hour drive from central Oslo. You can also reach here by a ferry, plane, train or a bus. I traveled from Gothenburg city by train which costed me approx 21 euros and the journey was 2 hours and 45 minutes long. Okay. So right now I'm in the Stromstad city. I have just done this cruise or this boating trip to the Coastal Habit National Park and some other island. They have covered like five or six islands in that. So I have taken the tickets. West Traffic is the public transport company here, which also rides the trains or boats and it will take you to different islands. So you can get down there and do some activities but since today the climate is not that great I thought of not taking a chance because I have also the bus from here to Oslo at 5 o'clock and I didn't want to miss that so I just hop it like I just did a boat trip a round trip and I came back now and now I'm gonna see the Stormstad city for rest of the day and I'll have nice lunch and we'll get ready for my bus to Oslo. Okay, let's go. Stromstad is a locality in Sweden and despite of its small population of approximately 6,500 inhabitants, it's called a city for some historical reasons. It is a fishing town and a popular holiday destination. If you are a shopaholic person like me, do not forget to visit North by Shopping Center, which is 20 kilometers from the port. It has world's one of the biggest candy store called Gote Bitten. There you can find variety of Swedish candies and chocolates. Bus number 111 goes to North by Shopping Center, whose frequency is 40 minutes. You can also find some local shops near the port where you can purchase souvenirs or some antique items if you like. Stromstad is also famous for its 18th century spa resorts and it attracts a lot of tourists from Norway and Sweden. Stromstad is on the west coast of Sweden and it is close to Norwegian border. I plan to visit this city to see first national marine park in Sweden, Kosterhavet National Park. Watch this video till the end to see the cruise trip to Kosterhavet National Park which was established in September 2009. When I reached this city in the morning, I could hardly see anybody. The first thing after reaching here was planned for the cruise trip but I was unable to locate the harbor and the clock was ticking. Also Google map was a little confusing. Luckily I found a man and he directed me to the port. I purchased my ticket and I could see mostly the old people in the queue. 
I was happy to see that how beautifully they are enjoying their life. I was so happy at that moment and I found myself lucky to experience this solo adventure. I would advise you to plan a day or two here to experience the great leisures of this place. The climate was not so good. It was rainy and a bit frizzy. So most of the people were on the cozy seats inside. I plan to go out on the top to feel the breeze. When the cruise started and reached in the middle of the journey, all I could see was the deep and the big ocean around me. I felt so alive at that moment. I felt how big this ocean is and how small my worries are. I was heavenly happy inside. All I could do was to breathe and relax. And finally, I was about to see my destination, the Coaster Havik National Park. Before getting down, I thought of asking to cruise members about the summer activities in there. But I was here in the late summers, end of August, and they told me that there are no summer activities right now. Climate was uncertain, so I couldn't get down and decided to go back to the city. While going back, I enjoyed the beautiful views of small wooden houses. If you wish to plan this trip, I would suggest you to plan it in early to mid summers to do more fun activities. In the daily chaos of our lives, we just forget to appreciate our own selves. Self beauty, self courage and self love. That's why solo trips are important to realize your worth and you truly get to know yourself better. All you should do in your solo trip is follow your instincts and keep going. Free yourself from worrying about small things which actually doesn't matter. World is huge and our problems are so tiny. Stromstad is a place away from crowded tourist places, the true gem, where you don't need to worry about many things. Just be yourself and enjoy the less you have, because this less adds more meaning in our lives. This city was one of my favorite small destinations in this solo trip. This two hours long cruise trip was totally worth the penny. And you will get to see many more water stories in my next videos. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my lens and the world map. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and take care.